Namaste, welcome to Geeta's Kitchen. On Sunday, the 14th April, we will be celebrating the Tamil New Year, also known as Varusha Perappu. So, let me show you how to make a simple yet tasty uh, lunch menu for celebrating this day. So, in the pre preparation, I have soaked 1 cup of urad dal for the thayir vadai. Also, I have soaked here half cup of sabudana or sago for the payasam. And this is another one fourth cup of moong dal also will be adding to the payasam. One mango I have peeled and chopped for the pachadi. And another uh, mango I have peeled and grated for the mango rice. So for the vadai, we will grind the urad dal into a smooth and fluffy batter. Don't add too much water, just sprinkle some water while grinding from time to time. We want the batter to be quite uh, smooth and also not runny. Our batter is ground and ready, so now we can make the vade. So first we will add some salt to the batter. Next add a sufficient quantity of hing. 2 or 3 chopped green chillies, finely chopped ginger and also some curry leaves. Now mix everything well together. I kept some oil for frying, allow it to heat up well, then reduce the heat to medium. Dip your fingers in some water, then take out a ball of batter like this, keep it in your fingers and make a hole, drop it into the oil. Then gently flip the vadais over when they are done on one side. When it comes golden and crisp, then carefully drain it out from the oil. Similarly, we will fry all the vadais. Here I have kept some water, so when it becomes slightly warm, we can remove it, it need not boil, then take it out in a large bowl and keep it ready. Once we fry the vadais, we will dip them in this water. Here I have taken about 2 cups of fresh homemade curd, don't take sour curd and to this just adding a teaspoon of sugar and some salt to taste. This is pink salt. Also a little bit of hing. Now we have to beat this curd very well till it becomes silky smooth. Can you see the smooth silkiness of this beaten curd? We have whisked it very well. Now. To this also I am adding a few chopped green chillies, a little bit of finely chopped ginger and some coriander leaves. We will keep it aside. Now heat a spoon of oil in your tadka pan. We will add some mustard seeds. See this is the South Indian style Thayir Vada. Quite different from the North Indian Dahi Vada. I mean, up till this stage the process is the same. Except that they don't add all these ginger, green chilies and so many other items and no tadka like how we are doing. We will add some, a little bit of cumin seeds or jeera, little urad dal, add one dry red chilli and pour this tempering on top of this prepared curd. Now the curd is ready. This warm water which we had kept, just Soak these uh, fried vadais in this for about 10 minutes. Uh, 
after 10 minutes remove the vadas and gently squeeze it in your palm like this it is soft it should not break but it should be like this and arrange it in the dish in which you want to serve the thair vada now pour this prepared curd on top of your vadas the reason of soaking it in water is so that they become soft and now it will be ready to absorb this curd mix what we have made just add a few more fresh coriander leaves on top the south indian thair vadai is ready it can be served as it is but just to make it a little more attractive here i have some kara bundi this is store bought kara bundi if you want you can add or you can omit it or even if you have some grated carrot you can add it's all entirely your choice just sprinkle it on top and it gives a lovely appearance so in these hot summers keep it in the fridge and serve it nice and chill it will be really very welcome such a delicious cold thair vada to enjoy here i have one cup of regular sona masuri raw rice i have added two cups of water here i have taken one fourth cup of moong dal and i have added half cup of water we will cook both these together in a pressure cooker we will cook it for two whistles and switch it off for the payasam moong dal is cooking in the pressure cooker along with it take another half cup of water and bring it to a boil the water is hot now now i'll add in this uh, soaked sago along with the water in which it was soaked and allow it to cook till it becomes nice and soft cook it over a medium flame for the payasam we will also need some coconut milk so here i have taken 1 cup of fresh grated coconut to this we'll add about half a cup of water grind it very well and extract the juice see we have ground the coconut now pour it out through a sieve or if you can you can use a clean white cloth that's also fine and press it out like this so you get the fresh coconut milk this is the first extract now you can put this back into the blender again add the add water and repeat the same process now you will get a slightly more dilute coconut milk a thinner extract now again filter out this too today i am mixing both the first and second extracts sometimes we keep them separately for certain recipes so our coconut milk is also ready keep stirring it from time to time and cook it till it is well done and it becomes nice and soft glassy in appearance see like this now we can switch this off open the cooker our moong dal has cooked very well the rice is also well cooked i have transferred it into a large bowl and spread it out so that till it cools down so that we get separate grains and also adding a spoon of oil to this so we'll keep the rice aside see the sabudana has cooked well now to this we'll add the cooked moong dal give it all a good mix here i have 1 and 1/2 cups of jaggery this is clean jaggery so i'm adding it directly mix it well till the jaggery dissolves and it all comes together If you are not sure about the quality of your jaggery sometimes it might have a little bit of sandy particles in it then you can add a little water boil it no need of any syrup so just till it dissolves then filter it and add to your payasam see the jaggery has dissolved well now this is the coconut milk i have mixed both the first and second coconut milk after adding the coconut milk don't boil the payasam too much first reduce the flame and add the coconut milk to it 
and just allow it to uh, just continue cooking for one or two minutes more. See our lovely payasam with uh, moong dal and uh, sabudana is ready. Now we will just add some cardamom powder to it for flavor. I have taken about 2 teaspoons of ghee and we will fry some cashew nuts and raisins in it. I am adding in the raisins too. Fry them well in the ghee. When the cashews are golden and the raisins have also swelled up well like this, we can switch it off. Now we will add this to our payasam. So our tasty parupu and sabudana, parupu and javarsi payasam is ready or you can call it as a dal and sabudana payasam with the lovely taste of coconut milk. Now some of you might ask me, can I use store bought coconut milk? Yes, you can. Some of you might say, Ma, I don't have coconut. Can I use regular uh, cow's milk? Definitely you can. But use boiled and cooled cow's milk. Don't add hot milk and hot jaggery syrup together. Then your paisam will curdle. Cool the cow's milk, then add to it. For the mango rice, our rice has cooked and cooled well. Now we have to do the tempering for it. Heat about one and a half spoons of oil and mustard seeds. Here I have a tablespoon of peanuts and some cashew nuts also. <coughs> Next, add in some urad dal and chana dal too. A few chopped green chilies, a little bit of chopped ginger curry leaves one dry red chili some hing next this is about half a cup of fresh grated coconut add that to and also a pinch of turmeric to this Finally, we will add in the grated mango and stir fry this along with all the other ingredients. Just stir it for 1 or 2, two minutes. The mango will get uh, softened easily. Now we can switch this off. We have not yet added salt to the rice. So just add the required quantity of salt depending on the sourness of the mango. Next, add in this tempering to it. Mix it all well together. Our mango rice has been mixed well. Finally, we will just garnish it with some fresh coriander leaves on top. And also a few raw mango gratings. Just a tablespoon will do. So our tasty mango rice which we additionally added coconut and other ingredients in the tempering too is ready to be enjoyed. Next is the manga pachdi. For that just take some water in a pan and I have taken one raw mango peeled and sliced it into pieces like this. Allow the mango to boil till it is soft and well cooked. Here to 1 cup of jaggery, I am just taking about 1 fourth cup of water and we will boil it till the jaggery dissolves. Add a pinch of turmeric powder to the raw mango. Also a pinch of salt. See, our jaggery has dissolved. I have switched it off. Now let us have a look at our mango also. It has also become nice and uh, soft and it has cooked well. See, like this. Now add this jaggery syrup and allow everything to continue cooking till it thickens. Our pachadi has cooked well. It is of the perfect consistency and thickness. It will thicken a little more on cooling so you can leave it like this. 
Now for the seasoning, just heat a tablespoon of oil. As always, this mango pachadi is a compulsory item on our New Year's Day menu. Because it signifies life, I tell you this every year. So that we are able to take the sweet with the bitter and not the not so sweet events also in our life. So it has sweetness of the jaggery, sourness from the mango, astringent taste from a little bit from the mustard and also from the turmeric powder, bitterness from the neem flour and of course salt. So to this oil, we will add some mustard seeds. Just add one dry red chilli. Finally, add the neem flowers. Today I just had only the dry neem flowers. Add the neem flowers and switch it off. It should just fry well in the oil. That's it. The oil is already hot, so it's okay. So pour this tempering on top of the pachadi, and your mango pachadi is now ready. Our festival lunch menu for Tamil New Year is ready. This is our manga pachidi with all the six tastes, the moong dal and sabudana payasam, thair vadai and raw mango rice. Do try out this recipe, share it with your family and friends and wishing you all a very very happy new year too. Thank you for watching the video. We will meet again with another interesting video from Geeta's Kitchen. Thank you.